Hello, welcome or welcome back, my favorite movement enthusiast, to today's episode of Wall Mobility, where we will be using the wall as our single piece of equipment to work on our mobility in a way that supports us and that helps us get over pain, get over tightness and get over pressure without having to work too intensively. So even if we have some problems with our mobility and we have some pain, at the very least we can work on rehabilitating that as well as avoiding further injury just by working with a wall. So if you're ready, let's get right into it. Now, this will be a full body mobility routine. We will go through every single joint in our body as well as every single larger muscle group with the wall as our support. So the first thing we will do is sit back all the way as closely as possible with our back in a deep squat position. Now you don't need deep squat mobility to get into this position. If you have a wall behind you, you can just lean back and pull your feet as closely as possible to your body. And we're gonna use the wall to push away and work on our hip, knee and ankle mobility simultaneously through internal rotations. Meaning we're gonna bring the knee with an internal rotation all the way down to the ground, rolling over our toes, lengthening our Achilles tendon, working on ankle flexion as well as ankle extension and reversing the movement, foot flat on the ground and moving to the other leg. First exercise, really easy, really simple. Let's check out the next one. We've got the same starting position. And now we're gonna combine internal rotation, complete down and external rotation completely down. We're gonna hold this position for a handful of seconds and then we're gonna reverse the movement first. The outside leg, then the inside leg, pushing us back against the wall before we move into internal rotation on one side again, external rotation on the other side. We wanna sit down fully. We're working on hip rotation. We're working on knee and ankle mobility. And now we have a little bit of spinal rotation included as well in our lumbar spine, which is very great for people who suffer from tight back musculature. Bring your legs back up and reverse the movement. Hold for a couple of seconds, bring your legs back up and reverse the movement into the other direction. Now that we've worked a little bit on our rotational hip mobility, on our knees and on our ankles, we will switch from a posterior chain stretch by leaning backwards with our butt against the wall, our hands down towards the middle, and from here we're gonna switch into a horse stance by pushing our knees all the way out, bringing our femur a little bit lower than parallel to the ground, so our hip crease is lower than our knees and standing our upper body up against the wall. You can push out your knees even further. Hold for a handful of seconds before we bring our hands back down to the ground again and we just have to move the wall up extending our legs, stretching our hamstrings and reversing the movement again. Push your hips down, move into spinal extension by bringing your upper body all the way against the wall. Push your knees out. We're working on our hip mobility, on our adductors and on our knee mobility as well. And then we are extending to work on our hamstrings as well as our glutes, the tiniest bit of a stretch there as well. Switching from our posterior chain to our anterior chain to lengthen our hip flexors a little bit, we're gonna move into a couch stretch by bringing our lower leg into complete contact with the wall behind us and stepping with the other leg forward into a lunging starting position. So now if we come upright with our upper body, we have a nice stretch in our hip flexors by moving our knee forward and pushing our hips forward into spinal extension. And if we work dynamically and push our upper body back, that stretch will move from your hip flexors at the top down to your quadriceps. So now you can switch between lengthening your hip flexors and your lower abdominals and moving backwards, lengthening your quads even more. Move forward into hip flexor stretch, reverse into a quadriceps stretch. And this way you can open up your entire anterior chain 
the further you push forward and if you open up your chest even more you can have a little bit of chest mobility as well as opening up your frontal delts and the insertions of your pecs as well and then reverse the movement move to your quadriceps move forward to your hip flexors and lower abdominals so now that we've worked through all the musculature in our legs as well as our lower abdominals and the tiniest bit in our spine we're gonna add a little bit more spinal mobility as well by working very closely to the wall so we're gonna get into a lunging position with one foot on the outside and one leg in complete contact with the wall and that should be the back leg what we're gonna do is bring our entire back into complete contact we're already in lumbar and even a little bit of thoracic rotation we're also opening up our chest in our deltoids and from here we're gonna go into lateral extension back in full contact with the wall and lateral flexion not only are we working on our spinal mobility which is really important but we're also opening up our obliques and our lats as well as our shoulders a little bit we're gonna combine this forward with backwards now for the next exercise all we need to do is switch between having our back to the wall with having our chest to the wall which is going to give us a different kind of lateral flexion as well as extension and a little bit more chest and deltoid mobility by pushing your chest all the way against the wall keeping your arms extended and moving from one side to the other from one side to the other and for our third and final exercise from this position we're going to add a little bit more lumbar and thoracic rotation as well starting out with both arms fully extended hands together and we're going to push the arm against the wall and push us deeper into rotation all the way before we close and bring our hands together again this move feels absolutely amazing on the lower back it helps us open up our hips our lower abdominals and our spinal erectors which usually carry a lot of tension especially for people who sit for prolonged periods of time and even more so for people who sleep on their side because this usually leads to a lot of tightness in our hip flexors which leads to a lot of tightness in our lower back and releasing the tightness in both of these will help us immensely and now we can move up even more to our chest our deltoids as well as our traps and our neck musculature by moving backwards towards the wall and switching arms into the extension so we're gonna start with one hand in complete contact with the wall and we're gonna turn our upper body forward like so so our back is basically parallel to the wall behind us and then we're gonna turn in our rotator cuff like so touch our other hand to the wall before we push forward and open up our chest and deltoids again move backwards push forward open up your chest and move backwards move forward and open up your chest additionally of course we have some spinal extension as well which is always a nice bonus to strengthen your back musculature in the extension phase all the way reverse and all the way reverse now for our last exercise we're once again going to switch starting position we're going to bring our hands all the way to the wall arm extended because we haven't yet worked too much on spinal flexion meaning rounding our back and now we want to combine spinal mobility with chest and shoulder mobility as well as hip mobility and we're going to do all of this in one single fluid motion so we have our legs shoulder width apart our arms shoulder width apart and we're going to start by moving into spinal extension we are stretching basically our entire anterior chain starting at the lower insertions of our abdominals moving up opening up our lats as well as our chest and pecs our triceps and biceps is getting a nice little stretch and we're actively pushing downwards by flexing our entire back musculature and from here we're gonna start vertebrae for vertebrae rounding moving into spinal flexion rounding our shoulders lengthening them pushing our pelvis forward and pulling our stomach in and we're gonna switch from 
Flexion into extension, all the way, push down as much as you can and into complete flexion, rounding, pulling your stomach in, lengthening your shoulders and repeat. Now this fluid movement also feels pretty amazing and is very helpful in releasing tension and tightness in your back, which is an exercise I enjoy doing, for instance, in the morning, because it helps me release a lot of tension that I wake up with, which isn't very good for having a nice day and a good quality of life in general. And there you have it. We worked on our entire body mobility with the wall as an assistant, which means that all of the exercises are extremely low impact, can be adjusted in intensity as much as you want to, by moving away from the wall and doing the exact same exercises again or you can just use it to progress even further or just do some mobility work that doesn't require too much intensity. Not just that, but it's also perfect for people who suffer from pain, who have injuries, who don't know how much pressure they can put on a specific joint or a specific muscle and want to work as slowly and as low impact as they can. Now, with that said, sadly, that's all the time I have left for you guys today. But if you like the video, like the video and subscribe and check out other videos on this channel because we literally have new ones every single day. So until tomorrow, Captain Cairo, peace out.